Hi, I'm Luke. In this video, I've got a static website and I'm turning it into a site powered by CMS Made Simple. So you can see I've got a fresh install of CMS Made Simple here. I've got the admin section open and I've got the static site. Um, this is the site we're going to power with CMS Made Simple. So what I've already done so far, I've installed CMS Made Simple. I've uploaded the images. Um, so what I have to do now is create the template, create the style sheets, link them together, and um, create some pages, and then create a menu. So that's what we're going to do in that order. So first thing first, we'll go and create a template. Okay, so this is index.html. So I'll grab everything from here and paste it into the template. So we'll go through the template and put in some CMS made simple tags. Firstly, we'll change the title tag to use the title, which is the title of the page, and site name, which is the name of the site. We're going to link up the template to a style sheet so we can replace this style sheet call with the style sheet tag. We're also going to put some metadata in here, so we use the metadata tag for that. Um, this is the menu. We're going to have to change this to use the menu tag. Okay, and this is the content. This down to here is the content. So we're going to have to switch to the content tag. Okay. So now if I submit that and set it to all pages and set to the default. Now if we refresh this, okay, that's what our template looks like so far. Okay, so now let's go on to the style sheet. Again, we have to add a style sheet. And I'll just open the style sheet up here. Okay, so just copy that and paste it into here. That looks good. Okay, so let's submit that. And now we have to link it to the template. So we do that with this button here, and we attach it to the Live to Dance template. Now if I refresh this, okay, so we're getting there. Okay. The next thing we need to do is create all the pages. So I'll just go through the first page and then I'll pause this so you don't have to watch me enter all the pages. So add new content. Okay. So if we open up About Us. I'm just going to copy all the content here. Okay. And paste it in there. Okay, so we've added the About Us page. Now I'll go through and add all the pages, and I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, so I've added all the pages, and this is what it looks like at the moment. Okay, so we're slowly getting there. Um, the next step is to fix up this menu here. Now, let's have a look here. If we go into the Menu Manager, we're currently using this simple navigation menu template, 
So what we're going to do, we're going to import it into the database. And we'll change it up a little bit to suit us. Um, so let's set it as the default here. And let's go and have a look. Um, so if I open the... Um, let's open the index. We need our menu to look like this. Um, so the HTML it generates to look like this. Um, so basically it's just a list of um, anchor tags. At the moment it's generating quite a lot of other stuff. So what we'll do, we'll get rid of all the extra stuff in here. That we don't need. Okay. Um, so this is all def this default menu is good if you've got like multi-level menus and stuff like that. But it does have a lot of stuff we don't need. Okay. So that's all we need. Um, this for each loop, it goes through all the pages or all the nodes um, in the menu, and for each one, it goes through. It creates an anchor tag. It has a it uses the um, URL, so it, the href, and this is the URL, and then the menu text, and then we close the tag, and then we go on to the next one. So it does that for all the menu items. So now we submit that. And if we have a look here, that's exactly what we're after. Okay, so that's um, what we're after. So that's um, all done.